Hello Chief Architect users, today we're going to demonstrate how to make this shower assembly really efficiently. And so first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag a couple of interior walls. And I'm not going to worry too much about how they're represented at the moment. I'm also going to drag and place a fixed door symbol. And I want to open this door symbol up, get into its data box, and a couple things I'm going to change. One is, let's change the height to 76. You might want to check with your manufacturer and actually build it to spec. Same thing with the thickness of its rails. Uh, panel frame widths, same thing. Going to make this inch and a quarter all the way around. I'll go to the casing tab. Make sure I've got all casings unchecked. The jam tab, I'm going to make sure it's got no jam. And then the lights tab, I'm going to add, oh, let's say four lights. And I'm figuring that these crossbars are about one inch. So there you go. I've placed this. It's a parametric door symbol, which means if we zoom in just a little bit, as I drag and shape this door symbol, that frame, those specifications that we did, uh, panel width, all that stuff, it's going to stay the same uniformly stretching uh, so that I don't need to modify a symbol to accomplish this. It's a really fast way of doing it. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to go into this these two walls I'm going to change these two walls the reason I didn't do that in the first place is because if I set these as a railing first I'm gonna have problems placing my door panel uh, if my railing is designated as shorter than the default door panel so I'll set this to 76 under the newels and balusters under railing subsection and in the height um, input there and then underneath rail style, I'm going to specify that it's a solid rail style. And the last thing I'm going to do is under wall types here, I'm going to hit the define tab and I'm going to scroll down to something that I know has only one main layer, which is the glass shower. And I'll copy that and I'll make it 1.25. And because it's only got one main layer, I can go into the total thickness subsection and put in 1.25 and it's going to change this thickness designation under the main layer. There we go. Now I've got an inch and a quarter. I could also terminate this main cap, delete this main cap, I should say. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. It's not bothering me. Anyways, once that's set, now I have a wall assembly where I can butt this all the way to the corner. And let's duplicate it on the other side. Butt this at this corner. I can drag this. Now, keep in mind, I don't have a door symbol in here right now other than the fixed door, but I can make one of these doors an operable panel, right? The next thing about this I want to do is I want to make sure, because it's a glass shower wall assembly, um, I'm just going to paint this corner right here, and it's going to paint out exactly the way I want it to. And then I can change this to be chrome or, or whatever else I need it to be um, to match the original you know, style that I'm trying to match. Do that for the two neighboring doors. So this is pretty much it. This is the end of the video. You know, you can designate these as, as you know a hinge door or any type of door. You can now we've got definition in the shower. I can go and, and paint these surfaces and make it look more like a shower. Put in my fixtures, etc. Put in a curb if I need to as a pony wall. But that's it. I mean, it's a really fast way to have a very dynamic system of creating this style of door. I'll just show you, it can duplicate this guy in place, butt him to the corner, and then butt these doors again. So, really easy way to make these grid style showers look very accurate and be dynamic. And not only that, but if you're in X12, you can save this to your style palette. Create new. You can call it the shoji door. <laughs> Say that four times fast. Uh, you know, and then modify it in its set properties, etc. If you're unfamiliar with style palettes, um, get into that. It's a cool tool on X12. All right. Thank you very much.